Upgrade proposed financial the, assistance. Chair. Second. Uh, we've got a mover and a second from the mighty West. <laughs> Councillor Penny H and Councillor Linda <coughs> Cooper. Murray and Gail. Merry Barry. Christmas. Barry. Barry, sorry. Barry. Thank you. Barry. No. Barry. It's been a long year. <laughs> sorry. Okay. okay, let's get into it. Um, Your Worship, uh, I'll take the paper as, as read, and, um, but this is a two-year pilot to assist homeowners with, the, with their financing of the upgrading of the on-site uh, wastewater systems or septic tanks. Um, it's about setting aside 600000 or up to 600000 from the voluntary targeted rate uh, program for the uh, Retrofit Your Home uh, program uh, that has uh, a, a a budget or, or a, a limit there of uh, nine million dollars. Yep. It um, it particularly targets or it's set out for the uh, western lagoons at Kerry Kerry Piha, North Piha, and Bethels, and a little lonely row on Waiheke. And it's um it's just part of a uh, of a wider suite of options that we are working through uh, and looking at to address the region wide problem of faecal contamination in our waterways. Very good. Well done. Barry? Gail, you got anything to add? No, that's an excellent summary, thank you. <laughs> Evidence. Great contributions. Uh, right, uh, we've got Councillor Mike and then Councillor Bell and... Right? Penny. Thanks, Penny. Thanks, Penny. Uh, thank you. Councillor Mike. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, this seems a positive initiative. I I'll just um, make one point and ask a question. Uh, in regard to Little Onirua, um, which is a very <coughs> tiny lagoon, but similar in many ways to the larger lagoons on the east coast of, um, of the region, going up into Northland, but That's a miniature okay. version. But it's always been a popular uh, place, a habitat for ducks, lots of them. And lots of ducks in a very small place also means faecal contamination. Yeah not necessarily from septic tanks. I want to make that point. Um, so the question is, what will the money be actually spent on? Um, I completely agree with Councillor Lee that in most situations, the faecal contamination we're seeing in our surface waters is a mix of human and animal sources. Um, for th this particular proposal, money is going to be available as a loan from council to ratepayers to spend up to $35,000 on upgrading their septic tanks. Thank you. Good answer. Thank you very much. Right, now I've got, uh, so this is the batting line up here. Uh, Councillor Bill, Councillor Penny W, Councillor Penny H and Councillor Bill. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Gail, could you just discuss or explain to us briefly, please, the priority setting of these locations, how that came about, these ones were identified? Uh, through the Chair, the proposal has come to uh, this discussion as a result of advocacy from the Waitakere Local Board to trial this expansion of retrofiture homes, specifically in the Western Lagoons area. So it's a direct response to that advocacy from the Waitakere Local Board. In looking at uh, our response to that, we're extend extending it to Oni Roa on the basis that in both Waitakere, Western Lagoons and Oni Roa, we already have quite well developed action plans with the community to address faecal contamination from the septic tanks. So there's quite a strong level of awareness amongst the community as the link of the problem between the failing septic tanks and the pollution. So we think in those communities they're a good option for trialling because they've got that awareness. Supplementary, Mr Mayor, if I may. Of so course. Do we have any data then on other areas that other than these historical places where it's been advocacy from? There's a significant region-wide problem to failing septic tanks. We've got 
50,000 septic tanks across the region. We don't know how many of those are failing. The data that we have in Western Lagoons indicates that about 40% of the septic tanks in that area are failing. And it's a mix of septic tanks not being fit for purpose, so not being appropriately sized in terms of disposal fields, and also um, inappropriate maintenance. And that's why um, I think the key point with respect to this paper is the point that Barry made. This is just one relatively small mechanism that we have for addressing a region-wide problem. And the other options that we're looking at, and we're going to be preparing a initial concept paper, which we're putting forward to the Environment Committee in March next year, but we need to look at a very wide suite of options which range from um, sorting out the stormwater and the sewage um, mixing that's occurred, the overflow from sewage to stormwater and from stormwater to sewage, community and um, private smaller scale community reticulations and treatment systems, better enforcement and monitoring, um, potentially extending the Waitakere local board pump out system through to some of the community education advocacy work we're doing. Thanks, okay. Carl. Okay, Councillor Penny W. Yes, thank you very much. A um, couple of questions, probably. If, if the uptake isn't filled, Will there be um, availability for other areas? So, I mean, if you're just concentrating on the west, and what about okay. other areas? That's um, thank you, Councillor Webster. That's not something we've actually explored as part of this proposal, but it's certainly something that we could do in the future. I think it's a matter of um, trialling in these areas, and depending on that uptake, making calls from there. But there's nothing to say that we couldn't expand it if there wasn't the uptake. I think the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that we have got huge pressures on places like Mirawai. We often actually had to look at even closing the beach <coughs> at times. Uh, Point Wells, we had to put a new sewerage system in because of the groundwater problems and there are upcoming problems at Lee. So, and those are just three off the top of my head and there are others as you all know, because as you, it, the problem is you get people who start living there full time so they have, and you know all the issues. Um, the other thing is as the applications come in, are we going to educate on new technologies rather than just fixing the system as it is? Absolutely, that will be part of our response to make sure that what we are providing the financial loan for is to implement the best practice system. Right, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, right, got Councillor Penny H. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'm, and I know for Councillor Cooper and I and also um, Councillor Clo, this is you know, been an issue that's been going on for so long. We've had so many stabs at it. The only way we're going to get this fixed is by actually fixing those septic tanks. And this is the, the step change that's needed. And just, I, I guess, you know, in response to the kind of questions that might come up around why these areas in particular, and is it fair and equitable, when you look at the visitor numbers, you know, 10,000 on a good day in Piha, the dynamic nature of those beaches and the lagoon systems mean that they're kind of quite different from most other areas. There's no flushing in those lagoons and we just need to get them cleaned up. So we've got a willing community, exactly as has been said, we've got a willing local board and I think <coughs> this is a fantastic way forward, so I'm delighted to have that in there. Very good. Yeah. Right, uh, Councillor Denise. Um, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I, it, it looks like a good scheme um, and I'm supportive of it, but just can you just help me with the impact on the Retrofit Your Home program? So we've been up in the ante with that and now we're um, looking at an offshoot, if you will. I don't know how else you describe it, but um, the, the Retrofit Your Home, sort of how we are at capacity there in terms of numbers, so this, this, the impact um, that you outline will be um, a, let me see, a re reduction um, in retrofit your home for around 200 retrofits a year um, to make way for the 30 um, additional 
um, ones in this scheme. So can you just flesh out for me a little bit, retrofit your home and how <coughs> waiting list or at capacity we are there and the impact? Uh, well, as we've described in the paper, uh, Councillor Crum, we have had advice from finance section of council that we need to maintain um, the debt limit um, within the current ceiling for Richardshire Home. So depending on the uptake of the septic tank upgrades, uh, we may need to uh, reduce our the number of homes that we're able to support through the Retrofit Your Home project. And that's uh, described in the paper there, we're estimating, depending on that uptake for the septic tanks, for that to be about 200 per annum. And that's really the only option that we have because of this requirement to keep within the fiscal ceiling. Um, and and your, um, your reference in paragraph 40 to um, response rates for, say, Retrofit Your Home um, being very um, linked to other local and central government schemes or initiatives, um, su subsidies if you will. W what's your best guess on, a uh, tough question I know, but best guess on uptake for this, mm. given the differences with say, yeah. central initiatives, central government initiatives? Yeah, tough question. I think one of the, the biggest differences, obviously, is this is a significantly greater investment. You know, so it's a loan, but it's a loan up to 35000 I mean, we've actually been surprised by the popularity of the Retrofit Your Home scheme, but I think it's partly because of that support we were getting from some of the central government ECA schemes, but also partly because the sum up to 5,000 was much more achievable in terms of a debt, a personal debt. Um, so it's, I think the major difference is the, the size of the debt that the individuals uptaking this option are going to have, and that's obviously going to influence the uptake significantly. Um, and last question, if I may, um, the, the local board summaries um, and Great Barrier's suggestion about bulk buying, what were you, what's your thoughts around that? Um, perhaps if you could refer me to the yep, section sure. of the paper. Um, so page 79 in the agenda, um, summary of local board feedback. So Great Barrier was um, suggesting um, consideration be given to bulk buying um, given their particular location, but any implications for the scheme itself? So my colleague Viv Sherwood happens to be here, fortunately, and um, we'll be able to respond to that question. Um, through, through the Chair, um, Great Barrier's response was provided when we were outlining um, the potential to roll out the scheme regionally, and they had indicated they were quite happy with the original proposal that we roll it out in um, the West Coast Lagoons and Little Lawny Roa, but when it came to rolling it out regionally, they identified that they have some specific uh, island-bound um, constraints on uptake and things like that, so they've had a, a reasonably low uptake of the Retrofit Your Home program just because of the lack of suppliers and choice on the island, so that when we consider rolling it out regionally, we need to look at some of those um, some of those little uh, nuances that we might need to consider to encourage uptake and support um, those in more isolated communities to take up the scheme. Very good. Thank you. Questions? Councillor Wayne. Uh, sure, just got a few uh, points. Um, the first one goes to debt, and the issue that I would raise is that the form of debt we've got here is entirely different to council debt that is debt the council is raising to fund its assets. In this instance, we're talking about a debt that essentially is being held by the householder to improve their property. It's an asset. And I think that we need to separate this concept out. This program should be expanded. As I say, if it is a debt that essentially is a different form of debt, then it should be treated as such, particularly as it goes to the financial controls that we have. So I think I would expect a piece of work around that, um, Mr Mayor. 
I think that is imperative because this is the kind of program that other cities use, not just for retrofit your home, but retrofit of commercial buildings and the like. And often that uh, debt is sometimes even offset to banking institutions. So there's a piece of work that's required here. I'm entirely supportive of this exercise, I think it's imperative. We've got the data that indicates that the West Coast uh, lagoons are polluted on an ongoing basis with faecal coliforms. There's likely to be a high linkage with septic tanks, we know that, and similarly with Waiheke, same situation. So we've got the data to support this. The other comment I would make is that I would hope that in respect of what we do, we're not just, in, just looking at a septic tank, we're looking, as Councillor Webster mentioned, other forms of uh, technology that could include composting toilets, minimising the amount of water going into the facility through water conservation, grey water recycling. There are a whole range of things that frankly necessitate the update of TP58, Technical Publication 58, which is way out of date. So I would hope that in respect of this exercise, we're looking at the pilot, but we're also putting the groundwork in to tackle the 50,000 odd septic tanks across the region, many of which are frankly archaic. Uh, so let's get on with this. It's great. But coming back to the first point, we need to separate out this dead aspect because it's completely different. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good. Councillor Linda. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I won't go over some of the other issues, but I, I'm not sure. I think debt is debt. No. However, um, I'm very supportive of this, and this community is very well aware they've done lagoon workshops, and the staff have um, carried out an amazing amount of work, and also Eco Matters Trust. The local Waitakere Rangers Local Board have funded um, door knocking awareness campaigns. They've offered free septic tank inspections, and they've also committed fifty thousand dollars a year for subsidies. Well, effectively two and a half thousand dollar grants um, per households that are interested. So I see um, it's really, I think, um, kind of fair and, and, and timely that this local board. Um, gets to be part of the pilot because they've actually put skin in the game themselves and they've been willing to um, put their money where their mouth is and support the community. But I think the bigger issue here is it's not, yes, it might be upgrading an individual home's um, septic tank, but it's actually a huge public health issue. With so many hundreds of thousands of visitors to our west coast every year, um, I mean, gosh, my kids have swum in those lagoons and how can you keep them out? But um, I think that's the issue here. It's it's a wider thing than just um, you know fixing your own house up. This is actually looking after our public health, and I think this is a great start. Um, also, though, um, the lo and I'm mean, just going on about the different types of contamination. Right down the DNA, you can sort out. It's it's very well known what type of contamination it is, and how you can um, target um, treatment. Um, for the right type of contamination. So if it's if it's stock, well, it's working with farmers. If it's um, homeowners, it's working with them. So I don't know what you do about the ducks, who you work with then. But I think um, so. So it's it's Fish actually game. very <laughs> particular. You know, it's not random. Um, this is the right thing to do in this mm. community and in and, and Waiheke. Um, but I know that the. Um, stakeholder group, Lagoon, Lagoon stakeholder group have been looking at also the possibility of possibly opening up the Lagoon to flush. That's a bigger piece of work to do and there's been a very good Tonkin and Taylor report and I'm sure the local board will be um, working with that in their community but that's quite a big piece of consultation and it would not be um, the answer anyway um, because the water feeds from upstream but I um, just wanted to signal that, that there's something that may come to us at some stage. But thank you very much for your work and it's been very much appreciated that um, the initiatives that have been able to happen um, yeah. to back up this. Yeah. So thank you very much.